Now let me tell you some of the other effects of sympathetic nervous system. Now if you take the other effects of the sympathetic nervous system remember in the JG apparatus like we have the beta 1 receptors right in the JG apparatus that is within the JG cells we have the beta 1 receptors. So remember here JG cells they contain the beta 1 receptors right JG cells they contain the beta 1 receptors. The beta 1 receptors which are present within the JG cells if they are stimulated that is responsible for the release of renin from the JG apparatus ok. So sympathetic nervous system if they stimulate the beta 1 receptors right if they stimulate the beta 1 receptors the stimulation of the beta 1 receptors which are present in the JG cells is responsible for renin release. Right, it is responsible for the renin release. That is one thing. The other thing is in the central nervous system. Now, the remember whenever the sympathetic nervous system stimulates the beta 2 receptors, that will result in tremors. Right, that will result in tremors. So, like you take this uh, action of the sympathetic nervous system in order to reduce the tremors of the individuals for example it is an essential tremors or you take senile tremors the senile tremors or essential tremors will be reduced whenever you give beta blockers right whenever you give beta blockers the tremors will be reduced so what is the principle there because whenever you are giving beta blockers the beta 2 receptors are inhibited and thereby the tremors will be reduced okay so this is completely about the actions of the sympathetic nervous system. Now, now what I'll do is, I'll tell you, like we have discussed almost many actions of the sympathetic nervous system. Now let me tell you some of the mnemonics regarding the actions of the sympathetic nervous system. Right, let me tell you some of the mnemonics regarding the actions of the sympathetic nervous system and their distribution of the receptors as well. You see here regarding the beta receptors right regarding the distribution of the beta receptors you take beta 1 receptors right it is beta 1 receptor now where is this beta 1 receptors is present this beta 1 receptors they are present on the heart right how you should remember here is we have only one heart. So the receptors which are present in this one heart is beta 1 receptors ok that is the distribution of the beta receptors. So we have one heart and the receptors which are present within the heart is beta 1 receptors. Next you take the distribution of beta 2 receptors right distribution of the beta 2 receptors. If you see here we have two lungs. right we have two lungs so we have two lungs so that is why the beta receptors what we have within the lungs is beta 2 receptors okay so beta 2 receptors which are present within the lungs so this is one of the mnemonic regarding your distribution of the beta receptors beta 1 receptors we have one heart present in heart beta 2 receptors we have two lungs that is present within the lungs that is mainly within the bronchus you mean I mean to say the lungs in the sense in the bronchus in the bronchus what we have is the beta 2 receptors next now let me tell you another important mnemonic here sympathetic nervous system will stimulate the beta 1 receptors even sympathetic nervous system will also stimulate the beta 2 receptors but at other places there is effect which is increased whereas if the beta 2 receptors are stimulated the effect is at the other places it is decreased. What is that? You take bronchodilatation. The beta 2 receptors which are present within the bronchus if they are stimulated there will be bronchodilatation. Next 
The other thing is the tocolytic action. Right, the other thing is the tocolytic action where there will be relaxation of the uterus. Next, there will be relaxation of the GIT, gastrointestinal tract. Right, thereby there will be decrease in the gastrointestinal motility and there will be also the relaxation of bladder. Right, there will be also relaxation of the bladder. Okay, so what you have to remember is when the beta 2 receptors are stimulated, there will be relaxation. There will be bronchodilatation, there will be tocolytic action, there will be relaxation of the GAT and there will be also the relaxation of the bladder as well. Okay, next. So that is one of the mnemonic what you should remember. Next. Next you remember the another mnemonic here. You take in emergencies, right? In emergencies like what do we require? We require sympathy. So the tremors whichever are occurring during fear like whenever we are in the anxiety or whenever we are in a state of fear like we have this particular tremors so why do you think like you have tremors that is because of the stimulation of beta 2 receptors okay so in emergencies we require sympathy thus the tremors which are occurring during fear are due to beta 2 receptor stimulation right so the other thing is beta 2 receptor stimulation will cause tremors okay next now let me tell you another important action of the sympathetic nervous system system in a mnemonic way you take the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels now what is the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels Remember, when the sympathetic nervous system is acting on the blood vessels, there will be vasoconstriction. That is via action through alpha 1 receptors. Whereas, if the sympathetic nervous system is acting on beta 2 receptors, there will be vasodilatation. Right? Now, how to remember this? So, the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels. Right? The effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels. So to remember this, you just remember it as A, B, C, D. Now, what is this particular A, B, C, D? You take A, that is alpha 1 receptors. And then you take B, that is beta 2 receptors. So A, B and C, right? What does this C stands for? C stands for constriction. Right, C stands for constriction. So, if alpha 1 receptors are stimulated, there will be vasoconstriction. Next, the other thing what we have is D. Right, D is what? Dilatation. Right, D is what? Dilatation. So, if beta 2 receptors are stimulated, there will be dilatation. So, in this way, you can remember the action of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels. Alright, next. Next, another important point is when sympathetic nervous system is stimulated, there is stimulation of both alpha 1 receptors and as well as the beta 2 receptors. Right? When sympathetic nervous system is stimulated, there is both stimulation of alpha 1 and as well as beta 2 receptors are stimulated. So, what will happen to the blood vessels now? Right? Whether there will be vasoconstriction or whether there will be vasodilatation. Remember, the action of the sympathetic nervous system completely depends upon the relative number of the receptors. Right? It completely depends upon the relative number of receptors. For example, if the blood vessel contain more of alpha 1 receptors, there will be vasoconstriction. Whereas, if the blood vessel contains more of beta 2 receptors, there will be vasodilatation. Now, how to remember? Right? How to remember at which place we have alpha 1 receptors in the blood vessels, at which place we have beta 2 receptors which are, which are present within the blood vessels. Now to remember this, right? so the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels, it completely depends upon the number of receptors. Right? It completely depends upon the number of receptors on blood vessel on blood vessel now how to remember this now 
right to remember this like for example we have seen a loin right we see a, when we have seen a loin we require what immediately our sympathetic nervous system it gets stimulated right so whenever we see a loin the sympathetic nervous system it gets stimulated so sympathetic nervous system whenever it is activated we need to run now so whenever we see a loin we need to run now so the muscles require more blood they get this because the blood vessels of the skeletal muscles contain more of the beta 2 receptors so at this time of emergency blood requirement during which time of emergency during the requirement of running at this time of emergency the blood requirement in the skin and internal organs is very minimal so vasoconstriction occurs here due to alpha 1 receptors whereas in the skeletal muscles because we require more blood during running there will be beta 2 receptors in this way you can remember this point okay next next is like you take the hypoglycemia so hypoglycemia is an emergency right hypoglycemia whenever the blood glucose falls down in the body that is an emergency sympathetic system protect from this emergency of hypoglycemia now let me tell you how this particular sympathetic system will protect sympathetic system protect from the emergency by causing the warning symptoms right by causing the warning symptoms what are those warning symptoms warning symptoms are like tachycardia palpitations the tachycardia and palpitations is by beta 1 receptor stimulation and tremors are by beta 2 receptor stimulation so beta 2 receptors in the liver will reverse the hypoglycemia by increasing the formation okay so remember a point here the hypoglycemia is a medical emergency now sympathetic nervous system right sympathetic nervous system will protect the individual by stimulating the warning signs right by stimulating the warning signs now what are these warning signs the warning signs are palpitations this particular palpitations is due to tachycardia which is by beta 1 receptor stimulation then it is tremors by beta 2 receptor stimulation okay so what you should remember is hypoglycemia is a very important medical emergency if the blood glucose levels falls in the body the individual will land up in coma right the individual will land up in coma so if this sympathetic nervous system is there it will protect the individual from the medical emergency by stimulating the warning signs warning signs are palpitation where there is stimulation of the beta 1 receptors warning signs are tremors which is by beta 2 receptor stimulation now what your sympathetic nervous system is going to do how it will increase the blood glucose remember whenever this particular beta 2 receptors are stimulated right whenever these beta 2 receptors are stimulated there are two things which are happening there is gluconeogenesis and there is also glycogenolysis right there is also glycogenolysis so by gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis there will be increase in the blood glucose of the individual right so these are some of the ways how you can remember the actions of the sympathetic nervous system on the various parts of the body beta 1 receptors remember we have only one heart so beta 1 receptors are present in the heart you take beta 2 receptors that is number 2 we have two lungs and within the lungs what we have is the beta 2 receptors next you take the sympathetic nervous system it, it has a stimulatory effect on the heart whereas the relaxation effect on the other parts of the body you take the effect on the heart why it is stimulatory because number one receptors are there what are those number one receptors that is beta one receptors you take at the other places we have number two receptors second that is beta two receptors thereby there will be relaxation there bronchodilatation 
tocolytic action, GAT relaxation and as well as the relaxation of the bladder. Next, the sympathetic effect on the central nervous system is by beta 2 receptor action wherein the individual will have tremors. Now you see the effect on the blood vessels, alpha 1 receptors will cause vasoconstriction, beta 2 receptors will cause vasodilatation. And the action on the blood vessels completely depends upon what type of predominant receptors are present in that particular blood vessels. So you take the beta 2 receptors are present within the blood vessels of the skeletal muscle whereas alpha 1 receptors are present within the uh, blood vessels at the other places apart from the skeletal muscle. Next, during the hypoglycemia, hypoglycemia is a medical emergency. It will protect the individual. The sympathetic nervous system will protect the individual by stimulating the warning signs. What are those warning signs? One is palpitation by beta 1 receptor stimulation, tremors by beta 2 receptor stimulation. In what way your sympathetic nervous system will work? Sympathetic nervous system will try to increase the blood glucose levels. How? By stimulating the beta 2 receptors which are present within the liver. So beta 2 receptor stimulation in the liver will reverse the hypoglycemia by increasing or by stimulating the gluconeogenesis and as well as glycogenolysis. So in both these clinical scenarios, there will be increase in the blood glucose of the individual. So this is completely about the actions of the sympathetic nervous system.